Hello guys, welcome back to Learning Microcontrollers. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can control the speed of a DC motor using PIC16 F877A microcontrollers PWM pin. So I'm going to use a half bridge and in the half bridge, you can control the speed, timing, switching of a DC motor, but you cannot control the direction. For that, you need a, need a full bridge. So in this configuration, I'm going to use a TIP122 NPN transistor. So let's get started with this. So guys, this is our PIC16 FA77A microcontroller having 40 pins. It's a DIP version. Guys, this is our TIP122 NPN transistor. You can use other transistor if you want more power rating and you have a bigger motor, then that's up to you. And this is a 10 kilo ohm resistor. It will be used to drive the transistor, which will in turn drive the motor. You can use any resistor from 100 ohm to up to 10 kilo ohm. You can use any resistor value in between these. So this is a diode. You can use any diode having minimum current rating of 0 0.5 ampere. And this is 1N4001 diode. You can use the other diodes as you like. This is a DC power source. And you can use a battery as a DC power source, but the maximum rating for a TIP122 without heatsink is 30 volts. So battery must not ex exceed the 30 volt. And in case if you want more power rating, then you either add a proper heatsink with this transistor or you use a bigger transistor while the connection will remain the same. Now the next thing is a motor. It also has only two pins. The series wound motor that we usually use only has two pins. Now guys, for the transistor, this is this transistor has three pins, base collector and emitter. Every NPN DJT transistor always has three pins and same labeling, pins may shuffle. Uh, depending upon the data sheet. So for this TIP122 NPN, you will follow this diagram. This is the rightmost pin from where the writing on the transistor start. This is the emitter pin. The center one is the collector and the left one from where the writing start is the base pin. Now guys, uh, DC motor always has two pins, a series wound motor. One you can take as positive, other as negative, or you can shuffle these two pins to, con to change the direction of the motor. You cannot control the direction in case of a half bridge configuration. You have to set the direction using the wiring for one time only. So you have to be careful here. What direction you want, you only connect the positive there and negative there. Now guys, the next thing is the battery. Battery always has two points. One is a positive terminal, other is a negative terminal. So now let's get with the connections. You connect the one end of your base of your transistor to the one end of the 10 kilo ohm resistor. Then guys, from the other end of that 10 kilo ohm resistor, you have to send it to the PWM pin of the PIC16 FA77A microcontroller. You cannot use any available pin of the PIC microcontroller. You have to use only the specific pins mentioned in the data sheet as CCP1 and CCP2 pins. CCP1 pin, that is the PWM1 pin, is the pin number 17. So I'm going to use this while the other PWM pin will go empty because I only have one motor right now. So guys, this is our connection of the PWM pin. Now guys, the next thing is the collector pin of the TIP122 NPN transistor will go to the one end of the diode. And this end must be that one which is opposite to the cut. This silver cut you can, you can see on every diode. This connection where you will connect the collector will be the opposite end of that cut. Now guys, the next end, next thing is the other end of the diode where there is a cut on the diode. This silver cut as you can see. That will go to the positive terminal of your battery. Now guys, from the same positive terminal of your battery, you send a wire to one terminal of your motor like this. Now guys, the other end of the battery, that is the negative terminal, will go to the emitter pin of your TIP122 NPN transistor, like this. Now guys, from the collector of your transistor, you send a wire to the other end of your motor, like this. If you want to change the direction of the motor, you simply shuffle these two wires. Rest will remain the same, like this. Now guys, the last, you have to connect the ground of your PIC microcontroller with the emitter pin of your TIP122 transistor, like this. So guys, this is our total connections. Let me first show you the hardware. So we continue. Guys, this is the hardware I have here. You can see this is a motor I'm going to use. This is a PIC16 FA77A microcontroller I am having here. This and this is a TIP122 NPN transistor. And the connections are as shown in the presentation. For the power source, I'm going to use DC power supply. And the voltage I will set will be the 15 volts. So let's. Let's see what happens. So let's get to the micro C4 PIC coding. Let me zoom it in. 
So guys, I am going to use the version 7.2.0. You can use the 7.5.0 as well. That is also available. So click on File, New Project. This window pops up. Click on Next. Write the name of your project. I write Motor Learning Micro 1. Pick 16 fa 7 is the one I am using. 20 MHz is the crystal I am using. Click on Next and Finish. Now guys, unlike the previous versions of Micro C, in this version you have to go to the right. Click on Micro E Libraries. Click on System Libraries. Here you have to first of all select the libraries, select the PWM, the library you want to use. Now guys, in the PWM library, you can see that there is PWM INIT command. You click on it and in the example, you can see that PWM1 INIT 5000. You copy it, you paste it below the void main and give some initialization delay. Delay MS 100 will do fine. Even if you don't give this delay, it doesn't matter. So this usually asks for saving on auto. So you save it with any name you prefer. I make it learning motor learning motor triple one. Okay, like this. Now, guys, this is PWM1 INIT command. In this command, this 5000 is the frequency in hertz. 5000 equals to 5 kilohertz. And as for TIP-122 is concerned, this is fine. This frequency depends upon the transistor you are using. If your transistor is smaller, you simply set it to smaller value. Like to 1000, 100, 2000, depends upon your requirement. 5000 is fine for TIP-122 NPN transistor. Now guys, this is the delay we have here. Uh, you can remove this if you want, but I usually prefer it for one-time loop. Now guys, we start our forever loop. While one starts here, ends here. In between... First of all, you go to the right to the library. There is a PWM1 start. Click here, PWM1 start this command. You copy it. You place it here, like this. Now, guys, the next command is PWM set duty cycle, like this. You copy it and you place it here. In this command, you can see that this mentioned 192. This is the duty. Maximum duty that you can give is 255. This will be the maximum speed of the motor, like at 15 volt. The supply I set to the source, like your battery is of 30 volt, then 255 is the 30 volt. And half of 255, that is like 120 something, will be the half value. Like it will be like motor running at 7.5 volt. It's like this. So guys, this is the command. So what I do is that, first of all, I run the motor at the maximum speed, like 255, like this. See, I click on build and I burn this in the microcontroller. For that, I am going to use a Picket 3 programmer. I import this code. There it is. Okay, this is the code. I got confused with it. Motor Learning Micro 1. I click on write. The code is being written. Let's go to the hardware and see. Okay, let it write. Okay, our code is burned. This is the motor I have here. I simply do one thing that is I turn on the power for the motor. First of all, like this, you can see that it's turned on. See, it's at 0 ampere for 14.2 volts. It's like nearly 15 volt. Now I do is that I turn on the pick power for the motor. That is this on key. I am giving 5 volt to this through the PIC microcontroller. Click on. See, motor is running at a speed. Like this. I turn off the power. I turn off the power now. And now I again go back to the coding. I decrease the speed. It was 255, the maximum speed. I make it like only 55. That's very small amount, like it is like 20% speed of the motor. So I build it again. I write. So the new code is being written. Okay, the communication is lost. We just click on to check. This is sometimes a problem with the windows. So my window is not doing perfectly. So it's connected again. Click on write. Okay, the code is the new code is being written, and this time the duty cycle is just 55. So let's see what happens. Let it write. Let me zoom out. 
okay the code is written i turn on the power supply for the transistor picks power supply is on while the transistor supply is off now i will turn on the power supply for the let me change the contrast like this now you see the speed see the speed has greatly lowered down it is just 20 percent of that speed you can see that see this is how you control the speed of a dc motor now what i do is that i write another code now i will write the code in a way that the speed of the dc motor will increase from zero to maximum and then it will uh, stop and then it will again do it again for that purpose i replace this with a variable i make it duty only now this is a variable i initialize it as well like i and t duty this is the variable now initially the value of the duty is equals to zero now when the pwm starts duty is equals to duty plus one that it increments by one i give some delay that after 150 milliseconds or i make it 200 every 200 millisecond it will increase by one and maximum is 255 so when 255 is reached like if duty is double equal to 255 then duty must become zero that it's again becomes zero and it stops the motor for some like you can say 200 millisecond and then it will start all over again again the duty becomes 255 again it will make it zero i build this code see this gave an error here in the newer version you have to be careful with the capital and small letters delays d must be capital like this in the older version this is not an issue like this it's built now let's burn it first of all check communication it is a good practice to check the communication and then click on write okay the new code is being written as you can see let's get to the hardware let me zoom it out so this is our new code now what is going to happen is that the speed of the motor will increase from zero and then it will become zero again i turn on the power of the motor like this see speed is increasing hear the voice see it is increasing and once it goes to the maximum then it will go back see it is about to reach the maximum value see now it has become zero you can hear the voice the knob is gone see now it is starting all over again so i stop this it has stopped now you can see that guys this is the demonstration of this uh, that how you can control the speed of a dc motor using pick microcontroller pwm pin you can see that you can simply play with this code you can also like make it minus and you start from the maximum speed like you make it 255 and you make it minus and go opposite direction it will lower down the speed so i do that as well now the initially it is at maximum speed and uh, when we give it some when it will start so when it's zero it again becomes duty equal to 255 now it, it will go in the opposite way like this so initially it is at 255 then it keeps on decreasing and once it is zero then it again become maximum now it will be the opposite to what we wrote right now so again first of all check the communication that is this is a very good practice and then you click on write click on write okay the new code is being written Okay, the code is written. Let me zoom it out. Let me turn off the pick. Okay. 
okay it's off i power up the dc supply now this happened because uh, the supply has been turned on first now the grounding problem so don't worry about that that's problem with the computer okay let me do it again Select your pick, pick 16 F877A. This give 5 volt. Now I turn on the supply. See, now it is slowing down. See, you can hear the voice. It is slowing down. You have to only hear the voice now. See. see it is slowing down and then will it will go up again and you can control the speed of this slowing down and going up using the programming as well see it is now very slow now you can hear the voice it is about to go to zero see it's nearly zero see it said zero now it stopped again it will start from the maximum so this is this is what we just programmed let me show you the code see now what happened in this code is that it started from the maximum then it kept on going down so guys i hope you learned something from this video thank you very much for your time and have a nice day